the Super Cat Maiden Chase will end day two. It's a nice chase over three and a quarter miles. There's a surprisingly small field for this. So maybe there's not too many three-mile novices around this season. Top one is Bedtime Stories for Craig Beckwith. Danzig Caramel Thomas Rogers. Good Time in Ryan Tamasebi. Blazing Last John Morgan. And So Har Floozy James Shea. So if they all stand up, they'll all get some prize money to make sure there's something in the pot after week one. And they called in and away they go. And good timing. It's just about in the lead. Looking at the trainers in this race, I dare say most of them, if not all of them, have already got some money in the pot from the races that have gone before this one. So they get to the first, and they're all safely over it. And good timing is in the lead by about three. So maybe one or two trainers missed a trip with this race. Um, some people like to get their entries in pretty quickly this week because it was all a bit of a rush at the end wasn't it for some of us and maybe while this is undersubscribed it's good timing in the lead as they get to the first of the ditches which is fence number two and they're all safely over it with good timing in front and a gap of about three or four lengths then to three in a line so far floozy bedtime stories and blazing lass and then a gap of a couple to danzig caramel who is the back marker? So over the third, they go right down on its nose. There was bedtime stories. So just because there's only five runners doesn't mean it's not going to be exciting. I remember commentating on a three-horse race a couple of seasons ago, and only one finished. And they go back in their fences like nobody's business throughout. So we could get plenty of thrills and spills still. We've had plenty of thrills and spills already so far this season. It's only day two, and good timing is in the lead. They get over fence number four. I've still not seen anything quite like that jockey who was left on the track yesterday and they galloped over him for the next circuit. And, uh, skip over number five and a mistake by John Morgan towards Blazing last this time. Uh, I do hope Ryan Costello is looking after him and has given him a bit of a bonus for his injuries, but it's good timing in the lead as they take fence number six. Which they're all safely over. So half Floozy is second. Danzig Caramel's moved through into third, and then the two at the back of the two that have made mistakes so far, Blazing Lass and Bedtime Stories. It looks like they might be playing Jockey Cam in a minute. Oh, it was a fall and gone this time, Bedtime Stories. He gave it an almighty wallop, and the jockey went out the back door, and he made a mistake earlier, so we've only got four left. And good timing is in the lead out of this ditch it's over it nicely slow jump at the back by blazing lass four remain then it doesn't look like we're going to get jockey cam after all it looked like somebody was the director for want of a better word was thinking about it and changed their mind but it's good timing in the lead by about four or five to so hard floozy in second danzig caramel is third and blazing lass is fourth indian file then as they make their way towards the next, which they've all got over nicely, much better jump this time. All right, Blazing Lass at the back. Good timing is in front. Ball with five as they come to take this fence. It'll be the last of the next circuit. Oh, the leader's made a mistake this time. So I think that means it's only so hard, Floozy and Danzig Caramel that haven't made a mistake yet. Then they come past the stand then for the final time. I think we'll be back at Toaster later in the season. It's not very far for me to go home. We'll be. 12 miles away, that's all, and it's good timing is in front over that next one. Then So Half Floozy is second, Danzig Caramel third, and Blazing Lass is fourth. So they swing right handed, and good timing is in the lead. With So Half Floozy second, and Danzig Caramel third, and then Blazing Lass is fourth. Let's take it to this ditch. Really good jump by the grey there, Blazing Lass. Looks to be going well again now as they come down towards the next. And good timing, he's in the lead still. Been in the lead all the way so far, pretty much. By about two lengths. Get to the next one. He's gone through it again, the leader. So taking liberties with these fences, good timing. And the field are now beginning to bunch. Good timing still in the lead. Blazing Glass, the grey, is in second. In Danzig, Caramel and So Half Floozy together, but it's still a wide open race with a mile to go. And good timing. Not been 
all that good timing at the fences so far. Blazing Lass is in second. Then Danzig, Caramel and Sohaf loses the corner of the next one. Much better jump by the leader this time. Gets away from it well. Good timing now. Reasserts and has gone too clear again from Blazing Lass in second. Then Danzig, Caramel and Sohaf Floozy. Both of those two yet to make the move. And the leader is again down on his nose. He's made another really bad mess of that fence. And somehow he's still on his feet. And it's good timing still in front. Blazing Lass is second. Danzig, Caramel is third. Sohaf Floozy is fourth. At the next one they go. And this time it was the mistake was by Danzig. Danzig Caramel, but it's now Blazing Lass who's coming to challenge for the lead. They've still got another four fences to take, and good timing of Blazing Lass. Here comes So Half Luzi on the outside. Over that one they go, and a good job by Danzig Caramel this time as well. All four still in this, and it's good timing still in the lead, but now be impressed by So Half Luzi on the outside. So Half Luzi is coming to challenge. They've got three more to jump. It's good timing in the lead. So half losing his second. Down to this final ditch over it they go. Much better jump by So Half Losey who now takes it up. It's So Half Losey into the lead. From good timing in second. Gap back to Dunsey Caramel and Blazing Lass who both now look beaten. They've got two more fences to take. And it's So Half Losey who's now suddenly got a couple of lengths clear. Good timing is in second. Blazing Lass is trying to run on again in third, but it's So Half Losey who's gone for home and has suddenly opened up by four lengths. It's So Half Losey. Two to jump. Four Four lengths clear, five lengths clear, jumps over it well, gets away from it well, good time, but the blazing lass has gone up the back, so we're down to three, and so half Lucy has only got to jump the last surely, so half Lucy coming to the final fence then, and comes up to it, he gets over it nicely, over it in second was good timing, but it's so half Lucy, the only horse in the race that didn't make a mistake, he's racing up the hill towards the line, and he's going to take the final race on day two, so half Lucy is the winner, good timing is second, a bit of a gap back to the third place horse, Dunsey Caramel, they're the only three that finished as the other two both crashed out. And so are Floozy, was the best jumper in the race and won it pretty convincingly in the end. Maybe if good time would have jumped a few more offences rather than run through them, he might well have won that. It's a win, I think that's James Shea, I think. Let me get a look at the results. And it's so half losing the winner for James Shea. Second was good timing for Ryan Tamasebi. Danzig Caramel for Thomas Rogers was third. And they were the only finishers. And that's day two of season two for SO7 on a flat. And we'll be back with more tomorrow.